Hello, and how are you this lovely Tuesday afternoon? Yesterday I promised a bit of a discussion video regarding my education experiences. And when I tried recording it with my camera multiple times, it ended up just not feeling right for me. What you need to understand is that my personal experiences in relationship to school and education are something that I'm somewhat self-conscious about. And a lot of you who know me are probably thinking, Kevin, you're so smart, how could you possibly be self-conscious about your school life? And that's just it. My whole life, I've always been one of the smart kids, if not just the smart kid. And before anyone thinks that this is just an excuse for me to brag about being smarter than everyone else, or to try to bloat my own ego over something that's genuinely out of everyone's control, being smart is something I've actually struggled with a lot very recently in my life. From the time I was in kindergarten through eighth grade, I attended a charter school, which was for, quote, intellectually and academically gifted students. Essentially, I was stuck in a room with a bunch of genius children for nine years in my life without any real concept of what in the world ordinary schools are like. Not to say that the school I attended was somehow completely and irrevocably different from any other school in existence, but that I feel quite often that it left me unprepared to be at a normal school with normal kids. The transition to high school was very difficult for me, because not only was I going from a school that I'd been at for nine years, my entire life, to a completely new environment, I was suddenly confronted with the fact that I really was much smarter than most people around me. And at first when I entered high school, I became quickly very arrogant. I believed that because I was so much visibly smarter than all the students around me, Nothing there was worth my time. All of the people there were beneath my notice, and I just wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible. And because of that, I suffered socially. I put myself in an exile because I felt I'm different than everyone else. I should completely distance myself from all other people because there's no way they could possibly understand me with their differences being as pronounced as they are, or as they were in my mind. And this would slowly fade over the course of high school, as I got involved in my theater department, and as I met more students, and as I broadened my definition of intelligence to being more than just the ability to learn things in a classroom setting. I grew to enjoy some aspects of high school, particularly in my more difficult classes, as I was able to not only be challenged, but also to be engaged and interested in the subject matter particularly in my AP classes, which for those of you who are unaware, are essentially college-level courses taken in a high school setting. But even as I grew to enjoy more and more aspects of school, there was just something that kept on looming over my head. Something on the horizon for me when I was in high school, but something that's become more and more pressing on me as I've gotten older and have graduated and started living on my own. From the time I was a sophomore or junior in high school, People were constantly asking me, oh, what would you say is your dream school? What are your college plans? What are the things you're planning on studying once you're finally out of high school? And for the longest time, I didn't know. And at the start, I didn't know because it wasn't something I'd ever put thought to. When you're only 15 or 16 years old, you're not thinking even so far as two years into the future. You have no concept of what in the world you want out of life because you haven't been living for long enough yet. But as I got older, and it was more pressing on me, I came to realize that the reason I didn't know wasn't only because I hadn't thought about it. Because the more I thought about it, the more uncertainty crept into my decisions. The closer I got to my high school graduation, the more and more the uncertainty pressed on me, to the point where I genuinely had no idea what in the world I wanted out of anything. And whenever people would ask me about my plans after high school, I would always dodge the question and intentionally provide as ambiguous an answer as possible. And after spending a year out of school, I was hoping that my far-reaching college plans would become more clear. 
but the fact of the matter is they haven't I don't know what university I want to attend I don't know what I want to major in I don't know what career path I want to pursue and I feel like the ultimate reason for this is that my whole life people have always just told me oh you're so smart you'll be able to succeed in any field you want you'll be able to study anything you'll be able to learn however you want and regardless of whether they were trying to compliment me or encourage me all it centered around was you're smart therefore you must continue to be smart my whole life it felt like the only thing I was allowed to be defined by was the fact that I was a good student I was able to learn things quickly I was skilled at math and science and studying literature and at the end of it all I didn't really know who I was and I'm not trying to make anyone who's asked me questions about my college path or anything like that feel guilty because the fact of the matter is that's what people ask kids my age but for me someone who spent my whole life essentially dictated by the fact that I'm smart I don't want to put my brain to waste I need to do well in school and then go to a good college and then get a good career none of that mattered if I didn't have any concept of what I wanted out of life as for what the future holds I still don't know for the time being I'm just learning what I can both about myself and about the world and I hope that within the near future I'll gain some clarity but even if I don't all I hope is that I don't feel a constant pressure to be making such world-shaking decisions forgive me if this was a little bit more of a serious tone for a video thank you so much for watching if you made it this far and understand that the only reason that this video is the way that it is is that this is such a personal and emotional topic for me again thank you very much for watching and i guess i will see you tomorrow